a regional program. So we're funded by the four western provinces uh, and take students from all four western provinces. We're the only campus in Canada with all of the health sciences on one campus. Medicine, veterinary medicine, pharmacy, nursing, public health, kinesiology. There's a great opportunity to focus on one health. The emission standards uh, look at a variety of things. Um, certainly academic uh, performance in the pre-vet uh, classes are one of the most important indicators of how well students will do uh, once they're in vet school. We also um, have an interview process where we uh, interview all the students. A 45 minute interview with three veterinarians and they want to know, you know, your history and what you've done. They actually want you to experience and volunteer at a large animal clinic, small animal clinic, pig practice, whatever, so you know what veterinary medicine entails before you apply. So work really hard in your undergrad, um, don't give up in anything that you do, in any volunteering, in any schoolwork, and just keep persevering and you can get here. It's, it's a wonderful, wonderful place. I think what's amazing about WCVM is the connections that we're able to make um, between fellow students, professors. You, you really learn a lot. The clinicians are really great. They want you to learn. What we do is we work one-on-one -on -one or two-on-one -on -one with students in their final year. They're all done their exams, they're all done their lectures, and now we help teach them their hands-on practical. If I had to do it again, I would do the same thing as I'm doing now. I, I love veterinary medicine and I, I actually love the hands-on teaching that I'm doing now at the college, so yeah. Age six or so, I decided I was going to be a veterinarian then. It's just always been something I wanted to do. I like uh, quite a few things actually. I like working with people. I like meeting new people. I like working with people. Um, I like the, um, the challenge of doing what I do, which is internal medicine. I like the kind of the challenge of having an animal that's not well and trying to work out what's wrong with it and then how to fix it. I like that. I also really am lucky here working at the university. I discovered after I graduated that I really like working with the students and kind of teaching and trying to impart my enthusiasm for my subject. So I kind of have it every way. I really enjoy what I do. You've got to push quite hard and just listen. I hear some rumbling. And what you're hearing is all the, the hay and the forage in there rubbing against the room and wall as she does this. So have a look in her mouth, we're going to use a gag. The cows only have teeth on the bottom, at the front. They have what we call a dental pad up here. So can they only eat... what's this? Oh, <laughs> it's a piece of oh, string. Okay. She needs a treat because she's actually been really good. <laughs>